Hey everybody, this is John Simmons with the Simmons Realty Team and today we're talking to you about what should you do with your pool before and after a hurricane. Today is Wednesday and we're dealing with Hurricane Irma. Hopefully it will pass us by, but if it doesn't, we need to at least be prepared. There's tons of other things that you're doing, so I'll make this quick. When it comes to your pool, things that you should do. And I actually thought about this this morning when I was leaving to come to work and I was looking at my pool. However, again, I got this email from uh, Graham Banks, a pool guy, excellent guy. It's really worth getting somebody. It's really worth getting to know this guy because he's, he's awesome. But he gave us some good suggestions. One, go ahead and load up your pool with chlorine. Or if you have a salt system, let it run at 100% for 24, 36 hours. There's going to be so much water coming into your pool and debris that there's a chance your pool can turn, meaning it can get you know algae forming, turn green on you. So no one's going to be swimming in it, so you might as well load it up with chlorine or have your salt system run at uh, 100% for 24, 36, 48 hours. However, when the storm gets close, just turn off all your electrical equipment. Just turn it off completely. And one of the reasons is because if something hits your pool, for instance, one of your pipes, and you get a crack in it and starts sucking air, and your pool's still running at the time, you can burn out your pool pump, among other things. So just turn off your power to all the electrical power to your pool equipment, uh, you know, right when the storm is getting ready to hit, and then when it leaves, turn it back on again. Uh, cover on your pool. If you use a cover on your pool, don't put it on during a storm. I know you want to keep the debris out, but don't put it on because that thing can just start whipping around and God knows where that can end up or what kind of damage it can do. So now the storm has come and now it has gone. So what do you want to do? Uh, one, the really the most important thing is when you're turning back on the power, just don't turn it back on and walk away. Listen to see if it's sucking air. Make sure everything's working properly. Make sure there's no loose wires before you turn it on. Because again, if you have a crack in your pipes, it's going to suck wind and you're going to burn out your pool pump. With the other one, let's see what else did he say. What else we got going on here? Make sure you're, um, oh, if you're going to drain some water, only drain it down to the midpoint line on your skimmer. You don't need to drain it any further than that. And the whole point of the skimmer is to, to take the debris off the top of the pool. And you don't need to go any further than that. So I'm going to stop it there. Guys, take care. Make sure you have everything planned. It is Wednesday. Uh, I'll see you on the other side. But hopefully you get a chance with your you get a chance to see this with your pool. And just, again, if, if anything out of here you read, I would just turn off the power and turn it back on. Feel free to give the Simmons Realty team a call if you have any questions at all. Uh, my cell phone is 561-662-7358, but feel free to give anybody a call on our team. Guys, stay safe, and I'll see you on the other side. Bye-bye.